So I thought before I did like a skin treatment for myself on this Friday, um, I've been productive and also I went and got myself a frappuccino from Starbucks. I enjoyed that and I've been like trying to pamper myself a bit because I've just been working so hard and just so... My mind feels so tired right now and I slept so much last night. It's only not even two o'clock. Um, I'm just exhausted in my mind. So I was productive. I went in finally, gave some stuff to Goodwill and I ran in and I always check out their books. So I'm going to show you the books that I got really really excited for <clears throat> first book is johnny panic in the bible of dreams short stories prose and diary excerpts by sylvia plath um i've been on wanting to read more of sylvia plath i haven't read a lot of her stuff for probably 10 years um and it's a bunch of short stories and when i opened it it talked about a tattoo shop these are all written in the late 50s to the early 60s i believe or 59 to 69 or something but there was one about a midwife and like it just sounds really interesting that's what started this haul i am i can't even tell you how much this book just finding this book and just um i actually didn't even know that she had this collection of short stories um it's really the little things in life. <laughs> this book, like I'm telling you, it just made me happy. Um, I'm just so excited to re-explore an author that I used to read. And um, the stories seem very interesting. And what I like about short stories, and I haven't read it in a while, you can pick it up, put it down. So I could read like another book in between this. Um, so when I found that, I found um, Moral Disorders and Other Stories by Margaret Atwood, another classic writer that I've never read. And um, as a writer by trade. Um, I, of course, you guys know I love books, but I love literature. I don't talk about it a lot. I love J.D. Salinger, Ernest Hemingway, Tennessee Williams. I love a lot more literature and classic authors than I speak about on this channel. Um, so when I saw Margaret Atwood, I needed to read this because I haven't read her before. And once again, it's a short story. So I think maybe people had these both these books for college class or something. I don't know. Maybe not. But this is a short story that follows the life of one character. So it's multiple short stories. And it's the person as a girl, has a young woman in the 50s and 60s. In, you know, today's world, which this is 2006. Um, also has half of a couple. Has somebody that's not young anymore. Um, all kinds of things. So you see a uh, character grow, but it's all in separate um, short stories. So you can put it down just like the other book. So I'm really excited to read Margaret Atwood's books. I've always been told to read her um, because I would enjoy her from people that know me. So I am just so excited. And uh, once again, I got—I didn't tell you. I got this for 99 cents and this book was 49 cents. And this is like, I don't think anyone read it. It's brand new. And the last book I got, not classic, is by Lisa Barnum. It is called A Girl Like Moi, The Fashion Forward Adventures of Emil Emoji. Emojine, I M O G E N E, and um, this book actually has illustrations all over it and inside as well. Um, like a closet, and you can see like it's all illustrated, all the letters, a lip gloss. Uh, it's about a girl that's supposed to go to Paris with her best friend for the summer, but um, she's told. Uh, she has to get a job and she loves fashion so she gets an internship at a fashion agency starts going to like all the hoity-toity places in new york barney sales you know blooming dale serendipity all that and um then of course there's like a romance element this book it looks just beautiful it just looks like a beautiful book the story is probably going to be really cute um but just the way that they made it look oh my gosh the fortune cookie it's just a really pretty book, and this is a Simon Pulse book, um, and I believe this is from, like, 2006, so not too old, um, and this was 99 cents as well, and then I got something in the mail from Pantene. This is uh, Wish You Could Start the Year with a Hair Do-Over. They give you a little catalog with some of their products explaining what they do, and then you open this up, and there was all these little stringy things, <clears throat> and... They gave me a dollar off coupon as well as these two really nice sized samples. They smell really nice. Of uh, shampoo and conditioner of repair and protect. Miracle protecting conditioner and miracle repairing shampoo. Um, with Pro-V. 
I'm really excited to use this. I have been using repair shampoos. I'm using the Esther Blueberry Healthy Hair Repair right now. And um, I'm quite liking it. It's actually saved my hair from the garbage body shop shine, bamboo, rainforest shine stuff I used. Stay away from those if you get tend to get dry hair. Um, so that's what I got today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy Friday and talk to you later.